Hi guys welcome to my channel before starting subscribe and like the videos it really helps the content from this video are taken from the web novel and manga series of Mushoku Tensai Jobless Reincarnation now please enjoy the video. Part 4 Everyone safely manages to leave using the magic circle. Roxy, Talhand, and Gisu, Paul, who is breathing roughly, and then finally Elinalyz comes out, with some injuries. Blood is flowing out endlessly around the area of Elinalyz's shoulder. Are you alright? It was just a scratch. Elinalyz's shoulder is completely shaved off. Just from what I could see, there was no indication as if she had received a direct attack though. I was scraped by the scales. Somehow, it seems that Hydra's outer scales are like shark skin. Even though I say that, it's still within the range that elementary healing magic can heal it without leaving a scar. Back in my previous world's life, it would have required at least several tens of stitches. What a convenient world. Thank you very much. Well then, the problem is the reason for this injury. How to treat the person who caused it? Paul sits down in front of the magic circle. In addition, his eyes are fixated as well. Blood thirst, surging from all over his body. Dad. That was Zenith. No mistake. Paul said that. In those eyes, he can't see the fact that Elinalyze is injured. No, since Elinalyze takes the role of shield, you could say it's her job to absorb attacks though. However, please calm down a bit. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm calm right now. Paul's voice is low in tone. It's the calm before the storm such words came to mind. He may be calm, but it seems he's not composed. It can't be helped. Certainly, that was Zenith. From a distance even I realized, ah, it's Zenith. Then I'm sure if it's Paul, there's no way he would be mistaken. The one inside of that magic crystal is Zenith. She's trapped inside of the crystal. I wonder why she ended up in that state. No, the reason is fine. Something like being warped inside of it during a teleport, I'm sure, there are various explanations. It seems that being teleported inside of an object rarely ever happens. In reverse, you could say although it's rare, it still happens. According to Gisu's story, wasn't the story that she was together with some adventurers? No, they used the words that she was captured. HN? Could it be that Gisu knew about this situation? No, that can't be the case. It can't be helped catching him on a slip of the tongue. It won't be too late to question him over it after everything is over. Besides, the problem isn't there. I wonder if mother is still alive, even like that? Huh. After saying that, Paul stands up and grabs onto my collar roughly. Something like whether she's alive or not, it doesn't matter does it? That's right. Certainly, it was a slip of words, I guess. From the start, the probability that Zenith is alive was low. I even considered the possibility that we wouldn't even find a corpse. Even resolved that we may not find a single article of hers, if she's dead then she's dead, something we should offer condolences to, is what I was thinking. If it's like this, that she's still recognizably Zenith, then the situation is far better than we could have predicted. Stop the fighting! Gisu exclaims, but Paul still nears his face to mine in an intimidating way. Rudy, Zenith was over there. Your mother, why are you able to remain that calm? Would it be better to panic more? What would be solved by getting distracted? I'm not saying that. I know what Paul wants to say. Certainly, right now I might be too composed. Even though after we find my mother, whom was missing for six years, I'm sure it's not the behavior of a typical human. Well, even during the time when I was a child, I didn't interact with Zenith very much. My recognition towards her as a mother is weak, as well. Rather it's even strange that I lived with such an appreciation this life. At any rate, we separated at the time when I was 7 years old, and I haven't met her in almost 10 years, after all. Even the fact that I'm taking on a heartless attitude might be something that can't be helped. For now, let's recognize the present condition, huh? Ignoring Paul's intimidation, I indifferently try putting the things from just before into words. Magic was ineffective against that guardian protector. It possesses an absurd ability, regenerate, its attack strength is high enough that just by contacting Elinalyze San, it was able to break through Elinalyze San's defense as well. And then, mother is trapped inside of that crystal. Putting it clearly, it's unknown whether or not she's even alive. Something like that, even I know. What I'm asking about is your attitude at the time when your mother has been found. Gisu cut in after Paul's shout. Stop it with that. Have something like a parent-child fight after we return to the inn. Gisu forcefully pulled us apart. Paul spit out the words, sheet, screwing around like that, and plunks down onto the ground. It seems there was no reason for me to say it specially. 
even Paul understands the situation. Just, my attitude bothered him. Even I feel it too, it was cold. But, it really can't be helped, right? What are you telling me to do about it? Yes, stop with the fight there, let's start discussing things. Ellen Elias lets out a clap with her hands. Paul and I slowly move and sit in the circle. Roxy is making a somewhat nervous face while looking Paul and I over. It seems I've caused her to worry. I'm fine. Is that so, it's not the first fight I had with Paul. After things are over and we return to the inn, I'm sure Paul will be better as well. Even I, who has weak acknowledgement of mother, at the point when I hear Zenith's voice and realize she's been saved, I'm sure I'll feel something as well. That's right, there's no doubt that's the case. This time, the gears are just a bit out of order. Cough. Um, it's about Zenith Sand's crystallization though. I think something can be done about it. Roxy says that in a somewhat brighter voice than usual. Is that true? The one who makes a happy face is Paul. Yes. Occasionally, there are times when legendary magic items imbued with magic power are trapped in magic crystals like that, but I've heard that if you defeat the Guardian, the crystal unseals and you'll be able to retrieve the contents. It's a story I've never heard. However, they're Roxy's words. Roxy has no reason to lie. That is something that I know about as well, Ellen Elias agrees. I know about one individual who has been through a similar situation as Zenith, but they're properly living, even now. This is a lie, I'm sure. Ellen Elias is the type to lie calmly at times like this. Since it's for the sake of improving the mood, I won't blame her, though. Although, no matter how much of a precedent there is, when the crystal melts, it's not confined to the person inside being safe. Naturally, there's no need to put that into words. That's it guys thank you for watching subscribe if you want more and don't forget to like the videos.